If you're going to spend on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. It's got all the best in-game purchases. They fight for market share with Apple and Google. That's why they offer these discounts. Use promo code MUSHY as seen above. And information of how to download this is in the description to the video as well as in the Discord. Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Mushroom with Genghis. So Cloud Ascension Trial right down here. I've been getting to level 22 lately, obviously dependent on who my partner is, sometimes 21. Let's uh, look at it. I want to talk about the gifts, which ones you should choose, which ones I choose, and go from there. So this is basically what I choose. These are the gifts. Um, I'm very heavy on things that directly help PvP stats. So I want mounts, mount empowerments, but I really want... Uh, I really want to be able to level up my avian and I want scroll scrolls, awakening scrolls. So top thing I want, my first choice all the time is going to be these awakening scrolls. Reason why is I just think they have the largest impact of anything you can select. And right here I could do another crit resistance, but I'm so far behind in crit resistance. Like I'm not far behind. I'm like 2,500, but man, people have like 8,000 now. So it's just not cutting it. So I almost think it's like a waste. I have to counter and just have more offense to go against them. So other things that I like, I want to level up my avian. Um, kind of a catch-22, like a, avian takes so much now, but it's still so important leveling this up and getting, getting uh, you, not just the HP attack defense, but you really want to level up things like skill damage right so those are the things that you and skill crit you want those to go up very fast um the way that i level them up with cloud ascension is with two things so these and the hearts because the cakes i can breed right i can go into my avians over here and i can hatch these and those are all those are all uh, rares, and I didn't get any special talents there, so I'll salvage them all. And there's 150 points. So I can go in and salvage, and now I'm about halfway on that level. So if you look at right here, like if you look 400 uh, right there of those versus five of those, you could basically say like that's almost... It's not quite 250 because you will get a couple of blue eggs. So maybe it's 210. Maybe it's 160. But it has a lot of value having those cakes. Plus you get the rare chance that you're going to get something really good. These right here, um, these potions, to be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, I think that they're overvalued. I don't think that you really need too many of them. Because when you go to level up, like... I guess I got zero there. No, I got 1,800. I got zero of the other ones. So do you really need them? Like, they take a lot when you do get to the fifth level, every five levels to get the special level up. But obviously not that much because I always have a lot of them. And then mount, mount empowerment, it's just a matter of uh, luck, right? It's a, I'm at like 68%, but there's no way I'm getting 68%. I get, if we go to empowerment here... 68.5, man, it's like 50% or less. It always fails. And then the final one is leveling up your ring. This isn't quite as important. Like, if you look at this, this ring, like, I'm at level, what's that say? 120, and I'm only at 17,000 points, roughly. And it takes a lot to level it up. But, you know, each uh, Sunday when I get my rewards, I do level up probably about like three levels. So I get about a thousand points, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, is that worth it? I don't know. But one thing I know that I don't like is I don't want to grab these lover potions. I don't want to grab eggs because I just don't think they're worth it. I'd rather start. I'd rather just breed high level eggs high level uh, avians where I can actually kind of pre-select the uh, the attributes that they're going to have skill books what's 600 skill books when you're that high right like you're going to get like three reds maybe one pink a bunch of yellows they don't really add up especially when you are already quick synthesizing and getting free stuff anyways so don't really see the point in doing skill books and pal books anymore 
obviously do them when they come around, but uh, otherwise I would let them go. And then the rest of the rewards are kind of junk. Like gold, who needs that? Speeds, I, I can't even, like science costs too much ore. I can't even use my speeds anymore. And I'm done the prayer garden, so I, don't, I can't use speeds there. It takes so long to level up my lamp, no use for it. And then the, the seeds, right? Like if, if you're max prayer, you don't really need them as much anymore either. So that's pretty much my thought on the rewards. Always focus on the very, very high level stuff. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And like, subscribe, leave a comment.